Hi there, it's Shannon from That's The Moment, Andy members how to use Zoom and trying to connect. And we've been doing things like a tea party. I had a virtual happy hour with some of my girlfriends a couple days ago. And yesterday I spent a lot of time with my uncle showing him how he can use Zoom for work. Um, we spent a lot of times learning about, um, he's in real estate. So I showed him how he could put the property that he's selling behind him um, in the viewer. Um, I spent time explaining all the different features, how he can record, um, really helpful tidbits. Um, it made me feel good. I feel like it's kind of like my virtual volunteering. Um, it's important to try to connect family and friends and that's what I've been concentrating on doing. So I feel like I really helped him a lot and uh, he called me today and needed a little more help. So I was happy to do that. And I have another tea party planned for this afternoon with some family, um, family in uh, New York, I have family in Maryland, and then we have um, a person in Ohio, as well as family here in Florida. And this is just a, a nice, fun way to connect because everybody varies all the way from 79 years old um, and down. So um, it's important to try not to feel isolated. It's important to try to find uh, ways to do the connecting. And so I have used Google Meets, I've used Zoom. Um, I personally like Zoom a little bit better because I find it um, kind of fun. I like dealing with the backgrounds, I like playing with it. Um, but uh, Google Meets can be a little easier for some people, it just depends. Um, but if I can teach my aunt who is almost 80 how to use um, Zoom, I am sure that um, you can too. And so um, I've got a few tidbits, some ideas, um, the virtual tea party, the happy hour, uh, kind of the platforms I've been using. I'll, I'll share some of that information with you um, next. And I will put some of the pictures of some of our parties and experiences on this video as well, um, just to give you some ideas. So um, that's kind of what we're trying to do here during the quarantine is um, finding ways to um, be creative, finding ways to connect, and really just um, using the opportunity to appreciate the fact that uh, we're all in this together. Thank you so much. Hi there, this is Shannon from That's The Moment, and I'm gonna to continue to show you um, how to go ahead and change your picture in your background. Um, it's pretty funny because I am sharing some hilarious outtakes from my family trying to teach them. Um, so I hope you enjoy that. But in the meantime, I'm going to share my screen, um, which is just clicking the button down at the bottom where it says share screen, and I'm gonna take you to um, my presentation which I'm gonna share. And um, what we're gonna start with is kind of Zoom etiquette for the family. Um, so what I'm kind of teaching here is uh, with Zoom, um, we'll do it in um, my slideshow presentation. So Zoom etiquette, one thing it's important to remind family is um, to mute their phones um, when they're not talking um, because otherwise they'll be talking on top of each other and depending on the kind of computer people have or how they have it set up, um, sometimes the person who's talking's picture will get bigger or it will actually be seen if they're looking at it on a phone because it's a different kind of view. So um, just remind people it is helpful if they can just mute in between. Um, the next thing I wanna show you is how to get to Zoom. So um, if you type in the word Zoom in, the, um, in your up in the top corner of your website, whether you use Google Drive or, um, or whatever platform you decide to use, just type in Zoom. It'll come right up, um, zoom.us. Um, it'll bring you to the page and make sure that you sign in. The first time you sign in, you'll have to uh, put in a password and a phone number, or excuse me, password and email. But once it's set up, um, it makes it so much simpler. Um, the next thing is, is you can schedule a meeting once you have it set up. You'll see that in the top right corner. Um, you can change your picture. As you can see, I have a picture there. 
You can either schedule a meeting, join a meeting, or host a meeting. I recommend that you play with it a little bit. There's all kinds of features, things that you can um, choose, uh, but we won't go into that today. Um, and then next, um, as you're logging in, um, if you're joining a meeting or hosting a meeting, um, it'll ask you to join with computer audio. I use the computer audio, not headphones, um, but you might be using headphones depending on how loud it is or whatnot. So um, in this case, you would join with computer audio. Um, and it'll also allow you to choose um, as far as um, whether you can see the person, stop the video or not. So on the next screen, what I'd like you to see is that um, not all computers features um, that are at the bottom here that you can see on Zoom. I've noticed that with my family and I am not a professional. I just learned how to do this during the quarantine. So um, please forgive me if you're a Zoom expert. This really is 101 by Shannon. Um, so I've noticed that Chromebooks don't have a lot of the extra features. And I noticed that my family with their cell phones, whether it's Android or an iPad or an iPhone, some of these are not available. Um, I, it seems to me that if you can use a laptop, it seems to be the easiest configuration um, if you want to play with it. But if you just really would just like to see family, don't overcomplicate it. You've got an iPhone or an iPad or an Android, just use it. So, um, but in this case, I'm referring specifically to an iPad, excuse me, a laptop, um, happens to be a Dell laptop. So what I wanted to do is just show you in this picture is that with the red arrow you can see a mute button and so mute is important so if your family is speaking and you're not go ahead and click that mute button it'll help with the interference um, my 79 year old aunt um, you know she wants to be able to be heard and we want to make sure that she can be heard and it can be frustrating for people um, when they all kind of talk on top of each other or maybe a dog bark so if you click mute that's very helpful um, the next thing I want you to do is look at the blue arrow where it says stop video. So maybe you want to stop the video for a second. Um, maybe you wanted to get up from your table or um, I don't know, sneeze for instance, and you just didn't want to sneeze on camera. You can go ahead and click stop video um, and still hear what people are saying. Just remember to click it again so that they can see you again. Um, another option, which um, is one of my favorite options, is the pink button, but we're gonna come back to that pink arrow in just a second. So next I wanna go to the yellow arrow. The yellow arrow says invite. Um, that's where you can invite somebody. So once you're on the call um, and you're like, you know what, um, my daughter wants to join. Um, you can click that button and send her an email and she'd be able to come. So um, it's a little more complicated, but I'm just gonna keep it a little high level. Um, the next thing is down is the blue and the blue is where you can record a conversation, which is pretty cool. Um, so um, you can record what's being said, which is actually what I'm doing right now to show you guys. So um, that's all the features, but now we're going to go back to that pink one. Over in the pink is a little tiny um, triangle. Um, if you see it, <clears throat> I don't know what you'd call it, um, you know, the, this upside down this way. Um, so just click on that and what will happen is it will bring you to a screen that basically uh, lets you choose virtual background. And then um, when you click on, you're going to come to this virtual background screen and you should be able to find a little uh, plus sign. And the plus sign is where you can put pictures into your box. Now some people I've noticed already have pictures in here. Um, and, and then there's other people that don't have any. So um, in this case, you would just click that plus sign and it'll take you to your pictures on your computer. And then you can select any of those and they will become your background. In this case, my backyard is my background right now. So I'm going to take you here. And then this is where you'll see with the yellow arrow is where you can click your pictures and then you can pick a picture, any picture you want, and that can become your background. So that's it. Now you can have a background picture if you follow the directions um, and enjoy visiting with your family and friends. I recommend it in this time of quarantine. Um, but you know, when this is all over, I think that, and I hope that people continue to do this because we do need to stay connected and it's so nice to see family and friends and 
um, just really wonderful. So for me today, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. That's the moment. Nice. Oh my goodness. Oh, cute. Those are your earrings. I had such good taste, don't I? Yes. Um, at the very bottom of your screen, you should be able to find your mail icon because you should have like little tiny um, gadgets at the bottom. I don't see the plus sign except for invite and reaction. Yeah, so not everybody has the ability to add pictures. Like, I don't know if you noticed, Nancy, but I'm on the ocean right now. <laughs> You're on the what, Hi, Ken? Can you see my background? Uh, I can see Judy's head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is that? That's great. What is that background? What, you moved? Yeah, I'm now living on the ocean. What do you think? I see oh, that's great. Tsunami's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I see a lot of trees. Yeah. So. Shanna, could you put a video in there so the ocean's rolling in? Yeah, I can do all kinds of stuff. I, I would be, I don't mind teaching you guys, but we'll get Barbara. Oh, look at Barbara. Yay. I don't see her. I don't see her. You'll see her. Just go up to the top right. Barbara, if you talk, Nancy will be able to see you. Yeah, I have two Shannons as usual. <laughs> <laughs> I want Barbara to be in the sheets connecting to audio. Okay. How come y'all can't see everybody at the same time? You got to adjust up in the top right corner where it says speaker view. Yeah, I mean, I, I see everybody. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Grattan, what's up? Hey, what's up? What do you do? I'm you hanging out here with the gang. Oh, Hunter Murray is here. Hey, Hunter. Hello, everybody. Come on, I'll give you everybody. Barbara, I like your hat. Thank you, I'm the queen. She is the queen. Look at that. Yeah. 